Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Another episode of my Grand Carib tour of Belize. I think you're going to enjoy this. So in this episode, I'm going to go over the hotel. Well, not the hotel, the, the resort. I'm going to give you a little tour. If you ever go there or if you are interested in going, uh, this gives you an idea. And uh, let, me share, let me share my experience with you. So my particular room was on the left side, if you're facing the ocean, was on the left side, the left wing of the resort. And so uh, I walk into the main yard, and this is what I see. And of course, there's that lazy hammock just waiting for someone to get into it. And they have hammocks pretty much, not everywhere, but, you know, they have them in certain places that you know, make it very tempting to get in one and just lay there for a while. And as soon as you walk out, uh, there are the stone uh, pavers that lead to the uh, dock that runs along the, the beach area and also to the docking area where the boats are. Uh, that's also the place where you would go if you reserved... Uh, a fishing trip, a scuba diving trip, a snorkeling trip, uh, some kind of water-related uh, activity or recreation. So when you get up to the dock, uh, there is an office over there. It's a rental office. I'll show that a little bit later in a video. But uh, this is a view of the beach along the front of the main courtyard. And you'll see what I'm talking about is that the Beach is not that far from the uh, from the Caribbean Sea, and I think that's a lovely, lovely snapshot of uh, of the beach there. This is the uh, deck, the decking along the beach, uh, all the way that leads up to the rental, and you can see some kayaks out there. And um, if you notice on the lower left, there's a lot of kelp. I think it's called kelp or seaweed. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's there all year round. I think I think that's seasonal. So I went during the quote-unquote winter. This is January. Um, so you see a lot of dead, a lot of dead kelp floating around, and every morning they they clean that up. And, and I'll probably have some pictures here showing that. So, but that's the view. This is also a view of the. Um, hotel as you can see from the decking very lovely and then on the other side on the left side there there is a little bit more sand areas i wouldn't say beach because there's a retaining wall a, re a retaining wall on the uh, right side over there as you see uh, there's also a volleyball court but i didn't see anybody play volleyball even during the winter and and keep in mind i'm i went during uh uh, J December, I left December 31st, got there January 1st. This is probably January 2nd or 3rd. And it was still pretty warm. It was very hot. It was in the 80s, very humid. Um, you know, the rest of North America, uh, especially in, in, in the U.S., was in, in probably in the 40s. So, but there you go. So this is what I was talking about, the kelp. Uh, it builds up, it washes over, the tide, I don't know, rises or, or waves kind of come in. I'm not sure what, what, what it is. I, I assume this is like the ocean's version of like fall where, you know, you have the trees leaving. Um, you know, the, the leaves are falling from the trees. Well, I guess in the ocean... The plankton, not the plankton, the uh, the seaweed, the kelp, they uh, they die off or they break off, and uh, they float eventually to the shore. And if you see that round uh, buoy, it's a PVC pipe that acts as a buoy and it has a net on the bottom. It has a net going down from there. That that's there to prevent, I guess things from going in, maybe even, I'm not sure if they have jellyfish, uh, but it uh, looks like some of the kelp goes in, and every morning they, they clean that up. It just keeps coming, and if you go, 
if you go to the mainland, or not the mainland, if you go to San Pedro, uh, you'll see this all all over the shoreline, uh, all over. And, and I don't know who cleans it up. Um, and this is a resort, so the people who own the resort clean it up every morning to have it nice and clean for the guests. And this is the lovely view as you walk out to the docks. And uh, there is a gazebo over there. And to the left, there there is a little decking area if you want to be out over the uh, the water and lay on a um, on a recliner. And here's the view from the water looking in, and you can see the uh, PVC buoys over there, the PVC pipe buoys. And again, they had a net underneath that. It's a whole netting system. So if you wanted to be on the beach and go into the water, there they they made a safe area for you to be there. And like I said, every morning they get on that get on that uh, get on that beach. And they clean up that kelp every morning. So in the next uh, uh, video I'm going to show you is the water. And it's pretty clean. It's, it's nice. It's not kind of like blue, but it's very clear for being so close to the shore. Again, this is an island. Uh, but some parts it is very blue. You have to go out a um, little bit deeper, out in deeper waters, and the water looks really, really blue. So, uh, but uh, enjoy the next video here. I don't know if you all can see that. Let me zoom in. See little fishes out here. Little minnows. Anchovies, maybe. I don't know what they are. So here's the uh, decking area for uh, the recliners if you want to get some sun out along the ocean. I didn't see anybody there. Uh, most people just hung around the pool. There was, I don't think there was a lot. This is the quote unquote off season and the rates are lower um, than the uh, busy season. So, uh, but the nice thing about it is you get all the space, all this room, but the same quality of service. And this is what you would be looking at if you were on that deck on the recliner. Uh, to the left are buildings, I think, are somehow associated with the the resort. This whole area seems to be a part of the resort, but uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But you could, this is a view you would see. And you could see, if you look at the water, you could clearly see right through. And it almost kind of depends on what angle you're looking at and where the sun is. But it's very clear water. And here's some boats along the docks. And it uh, looks like they got some fishing boats, some transportation boats. Often you will see a lot of uh, boats just going by. And, and it's one of the quickest way along the shores. And a lot of people do use these boats for transportation. Now they do rent snorkeling gear. So you can snorkel. But... Uh, they have a warning sign not for you to go out beyond the buoy, uh, the the beyond uh, the uh, buoys. I guess you call them buoys, um, because uh, the like I said, a lot of a lot of people use boats to for transportation. And so if you're swimming out there, you're snorkeling, you're looking down, you know, you may get hit because no one sees you. Uh, a lot of people also jet ski. Um, kayak out there so I guess this is a way for you to be safe. This is the end of the dock and you can see they have recliners stacked up there along the I guess the uh, flagpole. I didn't see anybody out there. Uh, I guess nobody really wants to be out there. They'd rather be next to the pool. Uh, even during the winter it is quite a bit of UV rays. Very high level of UV rays out there. So, uh, but there, there's, <laughs> there's a picture of it. And towards the end of the dock, there is a place if you did want to swim, if you wanted to jump out there and be in the Caribbean Sea, you, you can and get back on the deck. I didn't see a lot of people do that. Uh, if anything, I saw employees do that who were kind of working around there. 
cleaning the, the decking area, making sure everything is uh, maintained. So I have a next, I have a video coming up. It kind of gives you a view from the, from this area and you can see some boats coming in. So enjoy the video. Speedboats, other speedboats passing by. You see the rest of the island. All right, that's nice. I'm going to take a little walk around real quick. Let's see what all this is about. I didn't bring the gimbal so you might experience some shakiness. So this is the gazebo on the, uh, the docks. So if you had some event or recreational event scheduled, this is a good place to just sit down and wait. Um, it's in the shade and trust me, you're going to need a lot of shade because even during the winter, the off season, you still get a lot of sun. All right, so uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you um, the uh, rental and some view of the inside and also view of the hotel. Enjoy the video. Everyone's just checking out the pool. I mean, I, I have a pool, so I don't need to do that. I, I think I think you can rent. Uh, you can you can you can do some paragliding here as well. They got some snorkeling equipment you can rent here, fins, all that stuff. So another thing that you can do is do paragliding and rent jet skis. Uh, I didn't. I think I've seen someone paraglide, and I did see people rent jet skis. It seems fun. I wasn't interested in doing that. You know, I can do that. I can do that back back in Houston. Uh, I, I really wanted to go see the reef, which I will have another video out for that when I did go snorkeling. And you can see a lot of kayaks, a lot of kayaks, uh, paddle boards as well. In the next frame, you'll see paddle boards. And here's the paddle boards and also a view of the ocean. So, And they're not, you know, great. They're all rentals. But, you know, you, you, you can use them. So here's a close-up of the uh, beach. There's not much of a beach, you know. It's not a very big shore or a big beach area, which is nice because you just walk from the courtyard, and if you want to get some sun, uh, you'll definitely get some sun. And although in the picture you'll see the sand it looks really soft and fine, it's actually a little coarse. And I think I have a picture of it in the next frame. So here it is. It's not very fine sand. Uh, I wouldn't recommend walking uh, barefooted if you have soft feet. I have soft feet. I don't have callus or anything. No major calluses. Uh, but if you can walk on it barefooted. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, wear some sandals. It's uh, very coarse. It seems more like... Um, a, chalky it's very chalky and uh it seems like a lot of it came from the coral reef and that's why you see bits of i guess coral reef in it so that gives you an idea of the beach and here's that hammock i was talking about that's just right over the water i've seen several people just lay in there they don't lay in there all day <laughs> it's like i said you get a lot of sun especially if you're out there on the water the light bounces off the the water, the reflection, and uh, man, you you'll get baked really quick. But if you wanted to have a lazy day out in the Caribbean Sea, on a hammock, there you go. So this is on the right side of the resort if you're facing the ocean. Um, so the other side had a volleyball court. Well, this side had some more uh, recliners and some covered recliners. And in this area, I've seen people get massages. Now, they, you go to the concierge service, you can order a massage. And if you wanted to be out on the beach looking at the Caribbean Sea and get a massage while you're out there, you can. And this is 
probably where they would have it. And you could probably lay there, get some sun while you're waiting, then get on underneath the, I don't know what you call that, tent and, and get a massage. They also offer room service for a massage, and my, my oldest did get that service. And as I walked further on to the, to the right, you see that uh, there's some more recliners with umbrellas, and there's another, there's a building, and it looks like it's a part of the resort, but I'm not 100% sure. It's not the main courtyard area, but it looks like all one part, and there's another dock out there, but I think that's for commercial use, and it, and it might be for the resort, because I saw a large barge out there, a cargo barge, and it seemed like they had stuff, maybe even garbage and, and debris and stuff like that on there. There's the main door. Let's take a look at the uh, golf carts here. Yeah, and golf cart is the main transportation. Just gonna give you an idea of what they look like if you're ever interested in in this. There you go. Everything uh, has to be imported into the island, so I don't think they have. Uh... Oh, look at this! It has little bullhorns on and everything. So here's your bicycle options. So as you saw, they have plenty of uh, golf carts. Some are, I think, they seems like they're propane operated or electric operated. Uh, they had bicycles for rent. Uh, I didn't see any electric bicycles. So, and it seems like they had one motorcycle here. I don't know if that's an employee or somebody's. But it could be for rent. It's in that area in front of the in front of the resort, the little uh, lot where you saw all the uh, the golf carts and the bicycles. So there, I guess you could rent a motorcycle. All right. So that's the conclusion of the Grand Carib tour. This is uh, a plant, and in front of the resort, I thought it was very beautiful, so I included it in the picture. So thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. If you ever want to go to Grand Carib in um, Belize over in um, what Am Amber Grease uh, Cocker, I think it's or something like that. Uh, it's very beautiful out there. I'd highly recommend it uh, if you're on a budget but would like a very luxurious resort to stay in. This is one of them. There are others. Uh, in this area, uh, but this is the one that I stayed at, and hopefully this gives you a good idea. And if you, again, if you're on a budget, go during the off season. Uh, I enjoy going during the off season because less people, lower price, and you get this all to yourself without waiting or being around so many people. So, anyways, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. I'll have more of my Grand Carib. Uh, stay i'll have i think i'll have a, a scuba not scuba diving a snorkeling uh event uh that i went i actually went to the uh the, the coral reef out there and i'll have some great footage of sharks and everything so so like share comment subscribe until next time everybody i'll catch you later and stay tuned bye